Welcome back viewers. I would like to solve these three variables with three different um, equations. Now by doing this, we are having three unknowns. So the first thing to do is to make this equation 1 while I make this equation 2. And the last part is going to be the equation 3. Now what we need to do is to use the elimination method to get rid of the unwanted variable. So the first step I'm going to do here is to combine both equation 1 and equation 2 together. So now I'm combining the equation 1 and the equation 2. Let me just rewrite it. So I'm having x minus 2y plus 3z equal 9. And also I'm having the negative x plus 3y equals negative 4. Adding these two equations together using the method of elimination method. So x minus x is going to cancel out. Negative 2y plus 3y is going to give me y plus 3z equal 9 minus 4 is going to give me 5. So let's make this equation 4. Good. Now equation 1 and also equation 3 together. So rewriting these two equations, I'm going to have x minus 2y plus 3z equal 9. And also I'm having 2x minus 5y plus 5z equals 17. Now let's multiply equation 1 by 2 or let's say negative 2. So using the same method of elimination, negative 2x plus 2x is going to cancel out. Negative 2 multiplying negative 2y is going to give me positive 4y minus 5y, which is going to be negative y. Also, um, negative 2 multiplying 3z is going to be negative 6z plus 5z is going to be negative z. Negative 2 multiplying 9 is going to be negative 18 plus z, which is negative 1. Now, we can name this equation 5. Combining both equation 4 and equation 5 together now, equation 4y plus 3z equals 5, negative y negative z equals negative 1. So adding these two equations together, this gives 2z equals 4. So 2z equals 4, dividing both sides by 2, by 2, then my z is going to be 2. So I've gotten the first unknown. Now let's proceed by getting the remaining unknowns. Now plug in z equals 2 in either of equation 4 or equation 5. So we can use equation 4 in equation 4. So in equation 4, I'm going to have y plus 3z, which is 3 into bracket 2, equals 5. y is going to be 5 minus 6, which is negative 1. So I've gotten the second unknown. And for the last unknown, we can plug in also y equals negative 1 in equation 2. And my equation 2 is negative x plus 3y equal negative 4. So I'm going to have negative x plus 3 into negative 1 equals negative 4. Negative x is going to be negative 4 plus 3. So I'm having negative x is negative 1 and then that is x equals 1. So finally my x y and z is going to be 1 comma negative 1 comma 2. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. See you next time. Bye.